Ooh, okay. For me, Impact Hub is love and collaboration. Possibility. Possibility, that's what it is. Well, obviously, first, it's where I work. I would say it's family. <laughs> and then we said, actually, I remember sitting and having coffee with Vahe and saying, we're going to do, what do you think, should we do this? And he's like, you know, I don't know, will people come? Will this be interesting, remember? Will this be interesting for people? Many, many years ago, five, six, maybe even seven years ago, and they said, you know, we have this idea. We want to create something called the Impact Hub. And it's going to be startups and young people and new ideas all in one place, the good ideas. We're going to collect them all in one place and we're kind of going to cultivate them. And I said, where do I sign? That was my immediate response was, where do I sign? I want to be a part of this. I think Impact Hub, it's growing. It's going to burst at, it's bursting at the seams already. So I think it's going to have to um, find um, maybe not an entirely new location, but an additional location, maybe two offices. Choosing the space was very difficult because we wanted something that talked about sort of change. We wanted to get an old historic building like an old factory, where we are today, for example, and turn it into something new. You know, the, the most important thing was about how can you create an environment that will have impact, that will make a change. So even the space was very important because the way people interact and the way people feel part of a community, it has to be conducive to that. But of course, the, you know, the value is never in the building or the furniture, it's in the people that come together. And we were very surprised uh, at the number of individual projects or people that started to work together as a result of being in one space. See, the nice thing about Impact Hub is that there is no one ideal person. So the whole purpose was to create one big soup and have all kinds of different people from all over the place. But the most important was to have um, the kind of person that was interested in being in that soup with all these other people. And in that soup we had um, incredible people from Armenia, incredible people from the diaspora, non-Armenians involved. Patrastakamtune boluri um het stakhandi puma is amena karevor kravakane amena karevor suna karne arjekne. Te vosh mitar beutun chikado es stakhandi puma es Japonia des pani het te barza pes khoneman nor startupi kam hakai hakavari het kam uhaki vor be meket vor uzme milav bananel. Եվ այդ լավ բանանողները շատ իրական են, շատ շոշապելի են։ Եվ իրենք քեզ թե են տալիս, որ դու քո լավ իրական բաղափարները կյանքի վերածես։ Actually we we consider this our success when the entrepreneurs are coming with their idea or like they're just like one person when they're starting and then they grow so much and we have we have had this like they grow like beyond like 15 16 people and become i don't know 30 even more and then we cannot host them here anymore. So we always organize a graduation. Uh, for them because um, uh, kind of we are we are accepting and we can host those that are coming with ideas until they're like to the point that they're ready to scale and grow. Ours is a space where you come uh, for the community. I would dare say most of them are bent, hell bent to change something. You know, I mean, even if I look around the offices here, everybody's doing something, you know, and it's everyone's doing something for the good of everybody and everyone else. Because at the end of the day, all the problems that we have are common problems. You can't say, oh, that's your problem, this is my problem. We really have serious everybody's problem. So, and to do everybody's problem, we have to solve them together. End of story. So this is that kind of place and it's very different than, not bad or worse, but very different than <laughs> other co-working spaces. I don't think I can say it better than that. <laughs> we we'll just leave it at that. <laughs>